The crowd buzzed with anticipation as the stage lights dimmed in the concert hall. Beings from over a dozen planets sat in the sold-out audience, awaiting the headline act of the Intergalactic Music Festival. This festival brought together the most popular musical acts from across the galaxy to share their cultural sounds. So far, the lineup had featured throat singers from Tau Ceti, the hypnotic drums of Centauri, and a psychedelic group from Sirius that played instruments with their tentacles. The acts were met with enthusiasm as they demonstrated the diversity of musical forms in the universe. But the real excitement was for the finals act. It was a human band called Harmony and Rhythm. Humans were still newcomers on the galactic scene, having only developed faster than light travel a few decades ago. Their music was entirely unknown. Rumors circulated that human music was somehow different, that it accessed emotional depths and ranges unavailable with most species. It also made them want to move. But these were just rumors. The crowd quieted as four humans walked on stage, dressed in dark clothing. They carried strange instruments. Stringed, percussion, winds. The leader stepped up to a device the program called a microphone. We are harmony and rhythm from Earth. Let us welcome you to our world through our music. And with that, they began to play. Instantly, the audience was enthralled. The melodies interwove in complex harmonies, underlaid by driving polyrhythms and accented by explosions of sound from the percussion. The music was intricate, professionally delivered, and emotionally raw. As the first song peaked in a cascade of layered harmonies, the audience broke into amazed applause. This human music accessed emotional spaces never before touched in most of the audience. Happiness, sadness, longing, passion, it was all encoded into the resonating harmony. The band smoothly modulated into the next piece, which pitched the audience into entirely different sonic territory. The stringed instruments took the lead, delivering a plaintive and longing melody colored by the woodwind. Percussion rattled like rain in the background as the music spoke of deep desire and heartache. A four-armed cancrean sitting next to a reptilian Siri turned two of his eyes to look at his friend. By the seventeen moons, have you ever heard anything like this? He asked the mesmerized Siri. She slowly shook her head transfixed by melodies that evoked half-forgotten emotions from her youth on a faraway planet. As the third song built into a throbbing, high-energy rhythm, a feline Tormundan in the back row stood up unconsciously, his tail twitching as he was compelled to move by the dynamic beats. How do they create such urgency and passion through sound? He wondered aloud to no one in particular. The music ebbed and flowed, taking the audience soaring to triumphant heights and diving into shadowed valleys of loss and longing. At times playful and lively, then solemn and contemplative, the performance revealed the complexity behind human musical creativity. As the finale reached a peak, three Sigullian air sprites who had snuck in could no longer restrain themselves and took to the air, leaving trails of shimmering dust as they danced their intricate mating patterns high above the audience in time to the pulsating rhythms from below. The band played the last echoes of their finale, strings and voices layering into a crescendo of sound that gradually tailed off. In the ringing silence, the audience jumped to their feet, tentacles waving, heads nodding, as they applauded with thunderous ovation. Incredible, shouted the Cantrian. I have not heard such intricate compositions and emotional resonance before. I felt that music in all four of my ventricles. The Siri could only nod in agreement, still overcome by the performance. The human musicians bowed graciously, the singer stepping forward again. Thank you for welcoming us so warmly and listening with open hearts. Our music comes from Earth, which has over 7,000 languages, innumerable cultures, and a deep, diverse history from which we draw inspiration. Harmonies, polyrhythms, and emotional expression run through our songs and allow us to give voice to the fullness of the human experience. The band bowed again to enthusiastic cheers before leaving the stage. The audience slowly filed out, talking excitedly about the unexpected and profound performance by the newest spacefaring species. Many attendees floated home on ships, still filled with resonances of longing and joy evoked through human harmonies and rhythms. The festival continued for two more days, but it was universally agreed. The human artists had stolen the show. Their musical forms were so unique, complex, and emotionally rich that they eclipsed nearly every other galactic musical style. For beings accustomed to simple melodies and standard time signatures, human compositions were a revelation. In the following cycles, human musical forms exploded in popularity across the sector, 
Alien musicians work to emulate human harmonization and polyrhythms, stirring new emotions in their audiences. Harmonic choirs started on a dozen worlds as people sought to sing with human voices. The Intergalactic Music Festival, in succeeding years, heavily featured human bands as well as groups from many species that now incorporated human elements. Music stores filled with imported earth recordings and instruments. Harmonic orchestras arose to perform traditional human compositions for alien audiences. On Triton, the Premier Music Academy started offering courses on human music theory, which delved into exotic concepts like minor keys, syncopation, and modal scales. Students struggled to comprehend ideas like blue notes, chord substitutions, and swinging rhythms but diligently sought to master them. One popular Severian band, the Keeper Belt Quartet, spent three years studying under a human composer from Mars before returning home to great acclaim for their new compositions, fusing human harmonies with traditional Severian tones. A music anthropologist named Shrill Nevear from Sirius V wrote a book called The Human Siren Song. Decoding their musical emotional manipulation, which analyzed how human musical techniques compelled such strong emotional responses from audiences. It sparked huge debate about human music's effect on alien brains and culture. Nvair was now reviled in some quarters, but grudgingly respected in others for exposing this soft power cultural weapon humans wielded so adeptly, whether intentional or not, via their music's uncommon impact. Some musical traditionalists on rigidly ordered worlds, like Kauron V lamented how their youth were now rebelling against traditional rhythmic structures and scales, declaring them dull and static compared to the emotional rushes of human compositions. Person or musical foundations are being corrupted, decried some conservative Kauron elders about the herical human influence. A vibrant new cultural movement called the Terran Sound Alliance arose on planets like Cygnus III, which explicitly celebrated both human culture alongside their own instead of worrying about musical preservation or contamination. They declared all species were equals and had much to share, musically and otherwise. The great rhythmic union on VR Tethys went even further, calling for free exchange of musical ideas and forms with humanity. Absent economic barriers or cultural controls, music should belong to all sentient species equally they argued in their musical manifesto titled Resonating Together in Harmony. Nearly everyone agreed, music would never be the same again thanks to the human gift for complex beauty and emotional resonance using harmonies and rhythm. Their musical form spoke, sang, and changed galactic hearts and minds in a way no other species had achieved. Changing the universe as we knew it, the universe would be vibrating with human musical influences for eons to come.